Heel Rock is back. What's up, guys? It's Phenomenal AJ Styles, and you're watching Bretto Live. What is going on, guys? Bretto Live back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the WrestleMania 40 kickoff show. It happened yesterday in Las Vegas, Nevada, the Super Bowl weekend, starting off with a bang with this awesome WrestleMania 40 kickoff. I'm going to be talking about every promo, every moment, everything in this video. You don't even have to go back and watch it. If you missed the kickoff, you'll get all the details. Let's do this. We opened up the show with this awesome panel right here with Michael Cole, CM Punk, Big E, it was amazing to see that man, and Pat McAfee, all behind the same desk, hyping up who is Cody Rhodes going to face, what is going to happen in this kickoff show, got us super excited for WrestleMania, we're on the road to WrestleMania guys, and these four men right here on commentary feel great dude, CM Punk sounds so unscripted, Big E is such a genius when it comes to talking, he's great behind there, you got the jokester Pat McAfee, he's awesome, more of the professional, you got Michael Cole over here, just such a great panel, what a way to open up the show with these four guys. Triple H did open up the show talking about WrestleMania 40 and talking about this kickoff show just hyping up the crowd man this man has really changed the wwe for the better and my goodness thank you paul triple h levesque what an opener he's such a hype man are you ready Bianca Belair cut a promo, and I found this kind of odd. I'm surprised this wasn't Bailey, because Bailey, of course, won the Royal Rumble. But, anyways, Bianca Belair comes out the EST at WWE, and she wants a spot at WrestleMania, and she she's not clear on her spot going into WrestleMania, because she's not a champion. She's not a champion. So, is she going to have a match at Mania? Maybe against... I, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. But she'll probably enter the Elimination Chamber and try to face Rhea Ripley, I would assume. Uh, but, yeah. Bianca Belair, what a way to hype up the crowd, the EST at WWE, guaranteed she'll be on the WrestleMania card. Mommy Rhea Ripley cut a promo on stage, which was pretty fire, talking about how she's going to take out Nia Jax, talking about Perth, Australia, and the Elimination Chamber. Whoever wins that match is in deep crap, because whoever wins, she's going to beat at WrestleMania, according to Rhea Ripley. Here comes Becky Lynch, the only person so far to qualify for that Elimination Chamber match. She comes out, interrupts Rhea Ripley, and lets her know that she's going to win the Elimination Chamber in her first ever Elimination Chamber match, and she's going to fight Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania. Is this spoiling the winner for the Elimination Chamber? Is it going to be Becky Lynch just like that? And they just literally showed us the WrestleMania match, which this is probably going to be it. Hey, make it a triple threat. Throw Bianca Belair in there. I'd be totally fine with that. I think that would be freaking lit, bro. Curious to see what's going to happen going forward here, especially with the Elimination Chamber. I'm really excited for that. Especially Nia versus Rhea. That's going to be fire in the Women's Elimination Chamber, bro. WWE on top, literally. Seth Rollins made his way on stage, and he wants answers. He wants to know who he's facing at WrestleMania. Is he facing Cody or is Cody picking Roman? Who interrupts Seth Rollins? His older brother, Roman Reigns. In the shield, Roman Reigns interrupts Seth Rollins. Roman Reigns tells Seth Rollins that he's a clown and needs to get off stage and we need to bring the real stars out here like The Rock. Here comes The Rock. The Rock walks out, tells Roman Reigns that I want to face you at WrestleMania. Roman Reigns says, I choose who I face at WrestleMania. I choose The Rock. And The Rock agreed. This is the match of a lifetime. Best WrestleMania match of all time. And The Rock, keep in mind, is getting booed basically this entire time. It is a split crowd, though. Some people are chanting, we want Rocky. Some people are chanting, we want Cody. Mostly people chanting, we want Cody. No doubt about that. They were booing The Rock. And The Rock took offense to this. So I started seeing a little change in character with The Rock. He started acting a little, you know, heel Rock-esque. So, The Rock is kind of siding with Roman Reigns now as Seth Rollins is just chilling over here. Cody Rhodes comes out and says how this is all bullcrap. This is all bullcrap. Cody Rhodes says this to The Rock. And I'm thinking to myself in the back of my mind, I'm like, wait a minute, Cody, you already agreed to this. You said on SmackDown that it's totally okay. The Rock could have my spot. I'll take that title from Roman, but not at WrestleMania. I'm like, what? So Cody's going back on his word here on what he said on SmackDown. But I'm totally fine with it because I want Cody versus, Ro uh, Cody versus Roman. So that's totally fine with me. But this was just really weird to me. Cody Rhodes comes out, says this is bullcrap, and The Rock says it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you think. He shows the Bloodline family tree on the Titantron. 
and he says how this is just that important of a match. It needs to be Rock versus Roman. Roman Reigns agreed. And at this point, these two men are standing over here, and these two men are standing over here. I felt bad for Seth in this promo. I feel like he was just an outcast. He wasn't really doing much in this promo up until the end. Cody Rhodes says, I won the Royal Rumble. I won the Royal Rumble. I get to pick who I face at WrestleMania. Does he pick Seth? Does he pick Roman? Cody Rhodes chose Roman Reigns. Cody Rhodes chose Roman Reigns. Is this official? I guess so. I, I guess so. I mean, The Rock says he's facing Roman, but Cody says he's facing Roman, and I believe Cody because Cody won the Royal Rumble. It's his, it's his choice. It's his choice, dude. So I kind of just feel bad for Seth Rollins in this, uh, in this because he's just standing over there. He's like, oh, man, like, what do I do? What do I do? Anyways, Rock's like, no, that's not happening. Rock slaps Cody Rhodes across the face after Cody Rhodes talked crap about the bloodline family tree. Rock said, if you talk bad about Roman's family, you're talking bad about my family. If you talk bad about Roman's ancestors, you're talking bad about my ancestors. He slapped him across the face. Triple H, Paul Levesque. Uh, yes, I know that's Daniel Bryan and Paul Ehring. I'm, I'm trying to pose those as Nick Aldis and Adam Pierce. They had to break up these men. They didn't want an all-out brawl going on. So I got heel rock vibes. I got heel rock vibes from this, 100%. Rock is teaming with Roman. He's not against Roman, I don't think, anymore. I think he's teaming with Roman. So what I think is going to go down is it's going to be a tag team match at the Elimination Chamber. These four guys are going to sell out Perth, absolutely. And then Rock is going to be in the corner of Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40 when Cody faces Roman Reigns for the Undisputed Universal Championship. I don't think The Rock is facing Roman Reigns anymore. Roman Reigns and The Rock our teammates now. This is the new bloodline on top. On top. And Cody Rhodes is going to face Roman at WrestleMania. That's the official thing. Cody Rhodes, he won the Royal Rumble. I'm taking his word. Cody Rhodes, he wants to face Roman. And I guess, screw Seth Rollins. Even though Seth Rollins was throwing some heat at The Rock, Seth Rollins was teaming with Cody here. And that was great because these two have had a rough past. So that just felt great. Like, this was just an amazing promo. My goodness. Like, oh, absolutely amazing. And then after all this, Triple H gets interviewed backstage. And then The Rock passes him and says, you better fix this. You better fix this. Dropping, the, dropping a bunch of different curse words backstage stage and I'm like this is very unlike The Rock very unprofessional of The Rock because he's on the board of TKO the, the guys that own WWE and all that what an amazing promo absolutely loved it can't wait for Wrestlemania 40 it's gonna be absolutely amazing what is gonna be the official match that is the big question but Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns that it, that's what it is right now because I'm taking Cody Rhodes word for it because he won the Royal Rumble but that was the Wrestlemania 40 kickoff Full show review. If you guys enjoyed, let me know down in the comments down below. Smash a like in the video. Let's see if we can reach 500 likes on this vid. Man, this panel was great. And let me know your thoughts on the kickoff show down in the comment section down below. If I had to rank it out of five, I would give it a solid four to five. I thought this was a great kickoff show. Loved it. It was awesome. Got me hyped for WrestleMania and the Super Bowl weekend. It was absolutely fantastic. Let me know your thoughts on the kickoff show down in the comment section down below. I'll see you all next time. Pretty live. It's